Okay, we've reached the end of section seven and there was a bit of refactoring involved in this particular section to get our application working with our state management system, which of course is MobX. And if we just review the learning goals, then we have now introduced state management into our application and we've really cleaned up our code that we're using to provide the user interface of what our users are seeing. So to do that, we've used and introduced MobX into our application. We've also used MobX React Lite to make our components, our React components, observers of our store. Watch out for this one, by the way. It's super easy to forget to make something an observer and then your component doesn't react to any state changes inside the store. So first troubleshooting step, I would recommend if something isn't working as you would expect it to, do double check that you've made your component an observer. And we're also providing the stores via the React context. And this means that any component in our application can gain access to our store directly. And this means we no longer need to treat components as middlemen for states or props that we're passing down to components. Each component now has the ability to connect directly to our store and receive the state that produces the user interface or the view of the data that we're supplying to the user interface. So just one frequently asked questions, why didn't I use Redux? It is more popular. And there's historical reasons for Redux being more popular. It was the, it was created before MobX. And I think sometimes something is considered too simple and MobX is really easy to use, but it doesn't mean it's significantly slower. There is an argument that Redux is more scalable. And you'll hear that sometimes. But whether that stands up to scrutiny, I'm not sure. But some of the reasons that I use this is that MobX uses TypeScript. It's written in TypeScript and it's fast and easy to work with. And the author claims that in some use cases, MobX is actually faster than Redux as well. And at the time of originally writing the code for this course, I really wanted to use TypeScript because of my distaste for JavaScript. And Redux was such a pain to use with TypeScript at the time and MobX was a much better fit for this application. So those are the reasons that Redux is not part of this application and MobX is. But hopefully as we build our application, you'll recognize how pleasurable MobX is to work with. And it really does simplify a lot of the functionality that we add to our application simply by using that. When, when it comes to using reactions and computer properties, you'll, you'll start to see the power that we get with MobX. And what we're going to take a look at next is we're going to introduce routing into our application. Currently, we really do have a single page application, but that's going to change and we're going to add routing in the next section.